if you've been in crypto for any length of time, you get it. You understand this, this, this chart, the journey of walking through and experiencing this chart, you get it. The unknown, the uncertainty, traveling through the abyss, not knowing what is on the other corner that's coming right up. And, and we see Bitcoin in the long term in this growth, this up, uptrend, and we see the opportunity in crypto on the macro, on the zoomed out. We all get it long term. We, we really do think it's a great opportunity. But it's like when we start zooming in on the charts, when we start trying to figure out the next move for crypto, for Bitcoin, even financial markets, it gets very dicey, doesn't it? And that's okay. I really, I really think I figured things out. I really just, it, it's so simple. It's so simple. And we overcomplicate things. Headlines overcomplicate things. Social media overcomplicates things. Let's, let's backtrack. What am I talking about here? And this is an important message for, for crypto holders. The Dow falls 880 points as inflation hits 40-year high. This is the news. This is big news. 40-year high. And they're not the most beautiful-looking numbers, are they? And this is today, June 10th, 2022. Here's another article that kind of starts adding context to this situation. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you why I think it's, it's, not that, it's, it's not that complicated. Persistent inflation is only the latest threat to a market pounded by a flurry of macro blows. Trying to figure out which matters most has become something of a fool's errand. This is a great point. Check this out right here. This is, we're, we're starting to get to the point here. That's essentially the view of Eric Schoenstein, co-manager of the $9.7 billion Jensen Quality Growth Fund, which according to Bloomberg has data has beaten 96% of peers in the past year. With inflation, the Federal Reserve, a pandemic, and war bearing down on investor psyches, the only safe bet at this point is that equity volatility will continue. So this is point number one. Volatility will continue. And he's talking about equity markets, but we're going to use a Bitcoin chart. I mean, the volatility is going to continue there as well. But let's, let's dig deeper here. Let's see if the light bulb goes off. Conflicting narratives abound. While recession talk is building, economic data and corporate earnings continue to point to a healthy business cycle. Schoenstein at Jensen says he refrains from predicting where equities are heading. Rather than timing the market, he says investors should f focus on picking stocks that will be able to endure any prolonged economic troubles. This is it, everybody. This is foundational to what makes this so simple. It's foundational to what makes it so simple. It's so easy to get wrapped up on the short-term charts. It's so e easy to get wrapped up. Hey, listen, is Bitcoin going? And, and I've talked about the $20,000 area for Bitcoin all year long. Is Bitcoin going to make that move into the lower 20s or at the very least to the to the 200-week moving average at 22,000? It's easy to get wrapped up on in that. But check this out. His firm has taken advantage of this year's sell-off to add to holdings of stable growers such as insurance broker Marsh and McLennan Company and Moody's Corp, a credit rating company. So that, that, that doesn't matter. But what matters is his company and his firm has taken advantage of this year's sell-off. He says, when you, do, when you do that individually, company by company, in a high conviction manner, you don't spend as much time trying to figure out, is the market at the bottom? Is the market at the top? Or is the market going to turn around? Schoenstein said, I, don't, I really don't know if I'm pronouncing his, right, his name right. <laughs> that will give you more ability to sort of sleep at night. It, this is it. I always say on this channel when I'm doing technical analysis, because technical analysis is important. Technical analysis acts as a roadmap. It gives us these visualizations of price targets to the upside, to the downside. And when we have these visualizations, we're able to really picture those situations happening those scenarios happening so that in this very moment, we can make wise decisions. We can make decisions that don't over leverage ourselves. And we can make these decisions based on a, a, mind, a mindfulness of preparation, right? But going back to what he just said, in a high conviction manner, you don't spend as much time trying to figure out is the market at the bottom, is the market at the top. It's not about predicting everybody. And it, it, it's just the way he said this makes so much sense. And it just, it flows so nicely with the way that I like to do my technical analysis. I always talk about these charts as a roadmap. We always talk about targets to the upside and downside as kind of these just confirmation areas, these, these roadmap areas so that we can best prepare for what's going to happen next. Now, I digress from all of that and I say, well, what's the point? I ask, what's the point? The point is this. What crypto 
And it doesn't have to be any, it doesn't have to be Bitcoin right now. It doesn't have to be Cardano. It, well, what is your plan? What, with what he says in a high conviction manner, you've done your research, right? What crypto are you invested in and why? I mean, if you're a short-term trader, this video is not for you at all. But if you're a long-term trader or a long-term investor, I should say, and and you're you're like me with this mindset of you listen, this Bitcoin chart's going to continue going up in the macro. Twenty thousand dollars sure is possible. It's in it's in question. We get that, but I'm under this this belief that Bitcoin charts are going to continue to the upside in valuation. Cardano charts going to continue to the upside in valuation, and that's all I need to know. That's as simple as it needs to be, right? We can do short-term technical analysis, mid-term technical analysis to understand how much lower things can go. That helps us kind of put money on the sidelines. It, it helps us to kind of be safe in these volatile markets, especially with all of the fear, especially with inflation hitting a 40-year 40, 40 high, right? Short-term and mid-term technical analysis is important so that we are, we're able to analyze and, and prepare for these short-term moves or mid-term moves to the downside, meaning Bitcoin's going lower. Hey, if you're trying to buy the bottom, maybe you don't want to put it all in right now. Maybe you want to save some on the side, right? Because there is a chance that it goes lower. But man, do we get distracted with, with trying to figure it out? We really do. And the reason why this is putting all this together, the reason I'm doing this video is because I tweeted this a little bit ago, probably not a popular opinion, but I think a crypto pump is coming. Sometimes I forget, like I have Twitter and I have YouTube, so I can just post my opinions, like just a thought. And sometimes I forget, like it triggers people, just my, my general opinions. And they take a simple sentence like this and they turn it into, they, they define my entire investment thesis off of this. You should read the comments. I'm not even going to read the comments on this. But some people agree with me. But it's just funny because all I'm saying in this tweet is an opinion that I think in the short term, I think I, I against everything that's going on, this inflation news today, I think there's going to be a, a, a pump that comes. And it's going to be interesting to see. There, there very well might not be. Crypto could crash literally as I upload this video. It could crash this weekend based on what just happened with today's news and inflation. I just, I, I'm looking at the charts. I'm seeing what crypto does and how it sometimes does diverge away in a bullish manner from negative news. It does that. And I'm just saying, hey, I think there's potentially a pump in play. But that's such a short-term opinion. It's just a, it's just a, a tweet, a, a quick tweet on the short term. What matters is the long term, everybody. And that's what this video is about. It's about the long term. It's about, as this article says, when you do that individually, company by company, let's say crypto by crypto, in a high conviction manner, you don't spend as much time trying to figure it out. Let's spend less time trying to figure it out and more time just being prepared, more time sticking with our investment thesis, more time evaluating and analyzing the long term macro trend of crypto. That's what we should be doing. It is good for our mental sanity. It's good for our mental health. I think that's why he says at the at the end of this quote, that will give you more ability to sort of sleep at night because it is less stress when you're not trying to uh, figure it out and and time the exact bottom, right? It's so much less. It's it's just less stressful. So these are my thoughts, everybody. I, I, I hope if you've watched this whole video, you're not like, man, I was waiting for some just secret special answer but i think the simplicity of it is the secret that most people are missing and i say that based on my experience reading through comments and it seems like everybody's trying to predict what's going to happen next it's fine to guess but it's better just to prepare for all scenarios but to reaffirm and and identify if you haven't your your entire investment thesis your plan and why you're doing what you're doing why you're here Investing in crypto. What do you think is going to happen on the long term? Analyze that. Focus on that. And I really think we're going to win. I had a similar mindset in the bottom of the last bear market. Less experience back then in 2018. But it worked and it played out well. And I'm going to have a similar mindset in this entire bear market as the bottom has formed. Whether it's here at $29,000 on this Bitcoin chart or at a $15,000 Bitcoin chart. Either way, as the bottom has formed, I'm going to continue maintaining that thought uh, and that approach. So this is what I thought would be a good reminder as we go into the weekend for 
every crypto holder. It's just kind of this this reaffirmation of, well, why why in the first place are you invested in crypto in the long term? And again, this is for long term investors. Please remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto investor out here creating content. I'm just like you trying to figure it out, trying to navigate through. And this is kind of the, uh, this is where my head is at right now as we, as we move through these markets. And it's funny, the headlines, everybody trying to, trying, to, trying to guess what is next. The fact is nobody knows. So the best we can do is prepare with a positive mindset and, and have some confidence in doing that. Appreciate you cruising by. Have an awesome weekend. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.